Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Look at this headline. Police use automated license plate readers to track drivers, compile store travel records of everyone. I told you in 1996 that was going on. It was in trade publications. Everybody said, we don't do that in America. There is no way that's true, Alex. We do not appreciate you fear-mongering and bringing stuff like that up. I probably need to reboot this computer. It's really slow today. I thought InfoWars was slow, but now I realize it's everything. There it is, watchdog.org. Who's watching me? Police took photos of my license plates. And then they've got a CBS News article right there breaking all that down and how they stored the license plates. And remember how long we told you? Remember how long we told you that that was going on? Daily Callers also uh, reporting on it. Virginia cops constantly photograph random people's license plates. Well, folks, a lot of the cars have it now. And if you've got a U.S. plate out and you, got, you lost your license and you can't even keep your job and you can't pay all the bills, you don't want to go on welfare, and so you're driving in a car like half people I know, and you're wondering why you're constantly getting pulled over, it's because they, they have you in a database that you don't have insurance or, or that you haven't paid the registration. You've got to put Mexican plates on your car and you will be godlike. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not telling you to do this yourself. I know people that have done it. They are now invisible. They don't get pulled over. They don't get messed with. Nothing happens to them. They are literally like Casper the Friendly Ghost. No one can see them. And it just shows how crazy it is to be in the system. And they just keep writing the tickets and writing the tickets and writing the tickets till people go bankrupt. They lose their job. They go on welfare. Mission complete. Destroy the country, shut down the farmers, shut down the factories, shut down the ranches, shut down the culture, abort the babies, shut down the new road building, ship the jobs overseas, break America. The bitter clingers cling to their Bibles and their guns. Don't worry, we'll bankrupt them. We'll get them. And when libertarians and constitutionalists try to take over the Republican Party, you'll have a giant horde of neocons there and fake conservatives demonizing anybody that talks about the FEMA camps, the drones, the bullets, the Bundys. And they'll just say, Bundys are bad. There are no bullets. There is no new world order. There are no checkpoints. None of it's true. None of it's true. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But then they'll pay lip service and go, I'm a libertarian talk show host. I, 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 I've given up on the Republican establishment. I, uh, listeners, come join me. Fo follow me. I, 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 I talk about the New World Order sometimes. You know, it's, it's run by the Democrats. Yeah, and, and, but we need to attack Putin. We need to have this war in Russia. And we need to, yeah, yeah, you know, Russia's behind the Boston bombing now. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Alex Jones is bad. And, uh, and just, I mean, I mean it's, just, it's just, it's like, wow. You really find out who's who when you get down to brass tacks. The good news is the message of liberty has already been put out. The good news is that people know the score. They know how things work now more and more. That it's far and off for banks above the law, tax exempt, that are lobbying to raise taxes on poor people. And they know the Democratic Party's race baiting, creating racial division to make it about racial conflict in the future because they're going to screw everybody so bad financially, they know everybody's going to leave them. So they've got to just make it about race issues instead of real issues. And the Republicans are just a bunch of sold out right wing of the Democratic Party, desperately trying to destroy any libertarian takeover. And, and desperately on every major neocon channel defending Harry Reid. Because they got to defend Harry Reid. Harry Reid's telling them, look, if I go down for this, you're all going to go down. I know all about your swindles and side deals and land deals.
We're all in this together strangling America. Now join me and Bill Clinton and come in for the big win. We're going to get into Obamacare, tax day, all the rest of it. It's that our forebears, I saw a Boston Globe article more than a decade ago that estimated the amount of tea dumped in the harbor. Tea was a luxury from India at the time, not cheap. It was an upper class thing to even be able to have it. it was over $6 million adjusted for today in one ship that they dumped into the harbor. So they dressed up in disguises, left the Green Dragon in, went over and dumped the tea in the harbor. And they also went around when redcoats would beat people up or rape somebody, well, redcoats would get found with their throat slit. Or they'd get them in public and dump hot tar on them, which a lot of times kills you. Because see, when you dump hot tar on somebody, it creates third degree burns across the body, and then they would put feathers on it. And, and people say, ah, oh, tar and feather. They would pour hot tar on people. And of course, that's called our founders. We, we call them terrorists today, according to the army in Fort Hood. They say that the founding fathers would not be uh, welcome in today's military. <sighs> because they were about 50 times more aggressive than Clive Bundy. You know, I yelled at Piers Morgan and said, listen, it's about taking our guns and enslaving us. Stop the fake debate. You're trying to trick us. You're a foreigner doing this. Go back to England, Redcoat. Nothing against the people in England. You're a redcoat. You're a foreign soldier. Oh, my gosh, he yelled at him. We're so discredited. I mean, you don't raise your voice. When the Brits came to take the guns from the Brits, they were English citizens, predominantly. When they came, Paul Revere wrote around saying, to arms, to arms, the redcoats are coming. Warneth by land, toeth by sea. Prepare yourselves. And then they started shooting people. Oh, my gosh. Oh, when the government funds the Ukrainians to overthrow their government and shoot the police and Molov cocktail. Oh, my gosh. The CIA asset on CNN. But, by the way, I don't just say that. He's admittedly CIA. Anderson Cooper. Just, this is so wonderful. Look how handsome that man is. Oh my gosh, I love my Lord. I love the Molov cocktail, so sexy. Oh, they just shot that unarmed cop for no reason. Clearly, it's an elected government, not perfect. But compared to a lot of globalist governments, the point is it was an outside funded group. Imagine if some outside group of Russia was funding an overthrow of the government. Even if our government was bad, I'd be against it because that's wrong. I'm not a traitor. But, you know, Obama went two years ago. And Panetta went before the Congress and said, we get our authority from the UN and NATO. We can launch wars whenever we want. And the Congress is like, excuse me? That's a violation of the Constitution. Why not? They've already violated everything else with the NSA and the Patriot Act and the NDAA and all the power grabbing and all that. Well, they're the feds. I mean, they got guns. I mean, they got big badges. I mean, let's, let's kiss their butts immediately. Saw the new Muppet movie, you know, where the... FBI guy keeps pulling out bigger badges with the Interpol. And then pretty soon they get a delivery. It was a pretty bad movie, but that part was fun. I took my kids to it. Pulls out a giant badge, you know, bigger than he is. And I think Joe Bannister, he says he has a joke photo for us. It's not a joke about him and his family, but it's, it's, a, it's, you know, to point out that they just worship this image of the badge and the uniform. Well, then worship the Nazis then. They had some of the best-looking uniforms I've ever seen. Uh, that's why... Um, they were made by Hugo Boss, and I guess that's why they had Hugo Boss do the Star Wars uniforms, same company, um, for the uh, Imperial officers. So it looks scary and authoritative. I mean, if a uniform is all that matters, should the Nazis rule the earth? They had the best uniforms ever. Seen an SS officer's uniform? It's, it imposes a lot of power. But I'm not going to wear one because I don't accept their ideology. It's ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, and the, the, the uniform of hard-working American ranchers and the, and the American flags and the horses and the good-looking people and the militia there with their guns, those feds didn't know what to do with people in their own costumes. Because the whole world is a stage, each of us players upon it. It's time for Americans to take back the flag.